So I've got this little doll house here to help us talk about uh, a little hack I did on my house. So I'm an HVAC guy. When I moved into a new house, it was a two-story house with one thermostat and one HVAC unit. And that was a problem because we live in Tennessee and the summer gets very hot and upstairs gets very hot. So today I'm going to tell you using this model of my home. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I did to fix that. Uh, it's a pretty inexpensive fix. It's pretty straightforward, and I think if you're into DIY kind of stuff, you should be able to do it yourself, so I'll kind of explain what I did. All right, a thermostat is nothing more than a switch. Now, it's a fancy switch, and it's actually a series of switches. All right, so there's one switch that turns the fan on. There's one switch that turns the heating on, and there's one switch that turns the cooling on. And so whether you get a digital one, that has a screen and it has programmable things or whether you have an old school one with mercury in it. Basically it's looking at is it hot or cold enough? Do you want it to change? And when it, in the old mercury ones, I wish it had one, when it tips here and it says hey it's too hot in here, it tips and you can hear a click in the switch and it'll kick the fan and the cooling circuit on to turn your air conditioning on. All right. So a thermostat is basically a switch. So when I moved into my house, I only had one downstairs. And the problem is heat rises. So my upstairs was super hot. So at nighttime in particular, upstairs is hot when we went to bed, but downstairs was pretty comfortable. And so this switch said, hey, I don't, I don't need the air conditioning anymore. So it would turn off and upstairs would be hot. Now, if we only had a switch upstairs, the opposite would be true, right? We, would, we could set it for up here, which would be fine during the summer, maybe. It would try to keep our upstairs comfortable. But in the wintertime, we have a problem of, oh, it's nice and comfortable up here because the heat has risen, and it's nice here, but we really need some heat downstairs. The front door keeps opening and closing. I have kids and it's hard to get them to understand closing the door, right? So you got cold air, here, we can simulate that. We got cold air rushing in, downstairs is freezing cold, but the switch is upstairs and it has no idea that there's a problem. So what I did was I added a second switch. I added a second thermostat and I landed it on the exact same wires on my HVAC unit, which happens to be in my garage. I landed the wires on the same one. All right, so at Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon, wherever you buy wire and thermostats, you can buy thermostat wire, and it has a, a series of wires inside. They're color-coded, and your thermostat is generally going to be color-coded, and it'll have instructions. So depending on whether you have uh, an air conditioner with gas heat, an air conditioner with a heat pump, maybe you have a heat pump with a backup emergency heat, I don't know what system you've got, so you're going to have to dig a little bit. If you're watching this video and trying to figure this out, you're probably interested in things like that, and you may even know. But the existing thermostat was wired up correctly to my unit. So what I did was I got a second thermostat. I found a suitable place upstairs. So the thing with upstairs was I found an interior wall. Exterior walls are going to have insulation in them, so you can't run a wire down them very easily. But... If you have like a room, uh, a hallway between bedrooms or something like that, sometimes it'll be hollow and you can get up in the attic and you can find where that is. So maybe you see uh, an electrical conduit going down through, you see wires and you can tell right where that wall is. You could poke a hole down through there and then you could stick a thermostat on that wall. Now, figuring out how to get it either up to your attic to your unit or outside, that's up to you. Figure it out. But... I snaked a wire in there, I ran it down to the garage where my unit is, and then I had this set of wires that I had just brought in, I had an existing set of wires, and I just put green to green, red to red, yellow to yellow, white to white, black to black, whatever your colors are, I put them exactly in the same place. What this creates is an OR circuit, so if you're an electrical engineer, you would probably like to correct me and be like, oh, that's not an OR circuit. That would be what a dumb mechanical would call it. Well, yes, we dreaded electrical engineering classes because that stuff's hard. Electrons are hard, zeros and ones are hard, all right? 
But what we create is an OR circuit. So if this person or this person says that they are hot, now the air conditioner is on. All right. So this person says they're hot too, and they're both on. This is going to keep the air conditioning on. Now the trick here is not to have an auto changeover thermostat. An auto changeover thermostat will switch from heating to cooling on its own. Now that could be a problem here because you could turn on your air conditioning with one and you could turn on your heating with the other and I'm really not sure how your system would react. It may go into a limp mode or a fault mode and freak out. It may short something out. All right, so no auto changeovers. There should always be a little uh, button on there, a little dial that you can go back and forth that says heat, off, cool. And, and you can toggle between those. So you want them both in cool, both in heat, both off. All right. So in this situation, both of them wanted it cool. Now downstairs is comfortable. Summertime, we're cooling the house. She is comfortable, so she doesn't need it anymore. But upstairs is still pretty hot. So the system will react to this switch until this switch, probably in the middle of the night, says, hey, we're good. It'll turn the whole system off. And then in the morning, sun comes up and it starts to heat up upstairs again, it'll go there. So the reality of the way my system operates is most of the time during the summertime, my downstairs one is satisfied. It'll say that it's 70 degrees in there, and I'll leave my downstairs thermostat set at maybe 75. During the summertime, I don't really want my downstairs one controlling anything. The only time that I would is if it was a moderate day, and I'm going to have the downstairs doors open. So I'm not worried about my upstairs getting too hot, but we're going to leave the doors open because we're having a cookout or something like that. I want to be sure that we keep it downstairs and that this one's actually paying attention. But the nice thing about the system is that in the winter time, I actually set my upstairs one down lower because I know that, that the downstairs thermostat is going to keep the heat on. And it's going to more than satisfy everything. And if downstairs is comfortable, upstairs is probably actually going to be a little hotter than I want. And so at night, I'll set the downstairs one back even farther so that my upstairs is comfortable. So, silly little example, but that's how I set up my thermostats in my house. So you could set up thermostats in your house to uh, make things a little more comfortable. Now, you could also use some zone dampers, things like that. It's like a $1,000 fix. You may not want to go with that. Thermostat is like... 20, 50 bucks, something like that. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. I hope you don't destroy your HVAC system or your house or get in trouble with anybody. So good luck.